Rockers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing so 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 well. I am in such a great mood today. I am currently in New York City and this has been, I could literally cry thinking about it but I'm not going to because that's fucking lame. I could cry about the fact that I'm here because for little like analysis or whatever, this day five years ago, I posted on my Facebook, and it was, um, a set, oh my god, I'm literally getting a bit emotional. It was a set of photos from New York, and I was in the worst mental place I've ever, oh my god, I don't want to cry. I was in the worst mental place I've ever been in, and one of the things that always, like, pulled me through, um, whenever I was, like, going through, like, the worst of the, oh my god, I don't want to cry. The worst of the worst was skull, right? a really bad school experience, um, was one day I would come to New York and, um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm crying, I don't want to start the video like this, this is supposed to be like a funny video, um, I was in the worst of the worst, uh, mentally, with school, and, um, my dream was always that one day I would work towards being able to come to New York, and I'm here, and it's exciting, and it's amazing, and I'm here for like five or six days, um, I was gonna do LA for two weeks, uh, but I cannot do LA for two weeks, so I have came here and I'm gonna be going home and me and my mom are coming back to New York in December, so I will be back here. So I'm just kind of chilling here and feeling the vibe and then I'll be back properly. So that's to kind of let you know where we're at. I'm sorry for a stupid video starter. I apologize, but let's get into the stupid video. Okay, so Miss Brit Brit Spears has just done a post about Jeffree Star. And let's just say, you know, the, the post isn't going down that well, and the post has since been deleted. And it, it like, this post was so set up in a way that Jeffree Star would get promo either way. And Jeffree Star is a smart businessman, and he knew that it was going to act like this. But basically, Jeffree Star sent Britney Spears the biggest PR package known to man. Known to man. And let's not be stupid here, Jeffree Star sent Britney Spears a PR package, one of two reasons. Brands are going to be starting to send Britney stuff very soon. Thank God she is out of the conservatorship and she is finally a free woman. I don't know if you've seen, I posted a vlog, we were at the final rally where the termination of the conservatorship happened and it was such a oh, finally moment and such a joyous occasion. So, because Britney is now free and can post things that she wants, do things that she wants, brands are going to be very excited by that you know, they're gonna send her stuff, they're going to invite her to events, they're gonna whatever. So Jeffrey was very smart to be one of the first, at least makeup people, to send Britney a huge PR package. He knew what he was gonna do, he knew that this would be very exciting to anybody, it doesn't even have to be Britney Spears, to be anybody, to get all this free makeup. And come on, Jeffree Star makeup, especially previous years, I wouldn't say the recent releases, but Jeffree Star makeup at a certain stage was one of the best available. It really, really, really was. You know, it has declined greatly, greatly, over the years. You know, production cost has definitely went down, in my opinion. Production, in general, of quality, it really has taken a nosedive in the past three years. But before that, Jeffree Star was on the steady claim to be one of the biggest ever makeup brands. And it had the customer base to back it up, it had everything to back it up. So. Britney getting this, she's getting great makeup. But Jeffrey knew that whenever he would do this, Britney would be very excited and do a post as anyone would. Doesn't matter if they know or don't about Jeffrey. It's an overwhelming amount of makeup and very exciting to see. And also, I don't know if you're aware, but Britney Spears has recently visited Jeffree Star's mansion in Los Angeles. So she could potentially buy his mansion. So what a greater gift than you're trying to sway someone to buy your house that you have since taken the millions upon millions of dollars off of because no one wants that property because it's way too big, it's kind of ugly, it's very outdated, so he's trying so hard, clearly, to be in the good books of Britney Spears because then she'll buy the house and she'll like Jeffrey and it all works out for Jeffrey, right? So I think this was a very tactical move. Does it make it a bad move because it was very tactical? No, I think it was just a smart business move from Jeffrey, and I don't think he for once would have not done this if it was any other person. I don't think it just has to be Britney Spears. But Britney, being very kind and very sweet, obviously took to Instagram, which is the main social media platform that she talks on, to kind of thank Jeffree Star and talk about how excited she is to get the makeup, and it's really sweet and really wholesome, 
But of course, the comment section are like, hey girl, we have a lot to fill you in on, and Britney Spears, you know, you really haven't had access to your phone for like 11, 13 years, and we've gotta, you know, let you know on who's good and who's bad. Of course, Britney doesn't know, Britney doesn't care. It is not a case of like, Britney is doing this intentionally, or is doing this to piss off fans, or trying to highlight Jeffree Star. No, this is just a woman who is very excited about life, finally again, and is able to be excited about life and got this amazing PR package from Jeffree Star and is excited to post about it. However, the comment section is definitely people being like, all right, girl, you know, we understand that you don't know who these people are, but we are here to educate you, mama. So let me show you what this is right here. It's super, super, super interesting. So she did an Instagram post and it is just like a photo like this, right? It's not Jeffree Star or anything like that. It's just some sort of makeup photo. And this is the caption that she wrote. At Jeffree Star. I know Jeffree was so happy about this because Jeffree has really, really, really gotten not even good press recently, just no press. And we know that Jeffree loves getting any sort of press, so getting press from Britney Spears is phenomenal. So he wrote, at Jeffree Star, or Britney wrote, at Jeffree Star, thank you for sending me the coolest makeup ever. Okay, my mom does face care, so trust me, I know the salesmanship when it comes to selling products. A little shade, I love it. But I won't say it to sound self-righteous or anything, but Jeffree Star's Holy Mist is bomb, and I mean it. I don't wake up or go to sleep without it. I want to open the cute packaging and start it freaking out. It smells that good. Not to mention the adorable bullet lipsticks. Sorry, I had to share, cause if I didn't, I would wish someone would tell me about it. So only speaking highly about these products. And now again, the products speak for themselves. I think a lot of people who disagree with Jeffree Star are like, we really don't like Jeffree Star, but damn, those products are good. Damn, those formulas are good. And that's the thing about Jeffree, right? Jeffree has all odds stocked against him with the media, with his own actions. He's not a liked person. I don't think it's controversial to say that. But Jeffree will always be around because even the original products hold up. A lot of people in my comment section be like, oh my god, Adam, I don't like Jeffree, or Adam, I just learned stuff about Jeffree that I can't really stand behind. I do have this product, and it's a really good product. And I think that's completely valid. And also, who am I, who is anyone to say that it's your money? It's your money. If you want to spend it on Jeffree Star Cosmetics, if you want to get a lipstick from Jeffree, if you want to get whatever from Jeffree, it literally is not up to any of us. It is your money, you work for that money, and you can choose how to spend it. At the end of the day, people comment like, Adam, are you mad that I have this? And I'm like, no, I'm here to talk. And if you got a product and you love it, I'm really happy for you because your money was well spent, you know, in your opinion. So that's kind of my take on this because a lot of people were commenting being like, ooh, the drama channels, the commentary, the journalists are gonna freak out that Britney wrote this. And I'm, I can put my hand up and say that I particularly do not like Jeffree Star. However, I am aware that my cousin is a makeup artist and back in the day, she was stocked out with Jeffree Star products because she was like, they were so reliable and so diverse for different skin tones. They worked with different skin tones. And from hearing a makeup artist in my real life say that, you know, there's something to that. That's not someone being like, oh, I'm a Jeffree fan. I don't care about cancel culture. No, that's someone who genuinely agrees that the products are good. Someone who has studied and even just the day-to-day -day viewer can acknowledge that. So Britney getting criticism for this, Listen, it's a funny post. It really is. I did a tweet and I was laughing at it because of the next sentence. She says this. She goes, Holy Mist is a must. Jeffree Star, you're a genius. Holy Mist, more like, holy shit, this is good. And I tweeted out and I was like, Britney Spears calling Jeffree Star a genius. And I just started laughing. And people were criticizing my tweet. They were like, Adam, this is really disrespectful. Britney has not had her phone for 11 years. How dare you laugh at Britney? How dare you do this? And I'm like, y'all, I fucking love Britney Spears. And I love that she loves Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Good for her. Good for her. It was really weird that that tweet got so much criticism. I left it up because I was intrigued to see people's response to it. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's funny at face value that like, it's like two worlds combining that we have Britney Spears like putting out that Jeffree Star is a genius. I, I completely, this woman has not had her phone. This woman has not been able to have a life. She does not care about anything that Jeffree's done or anything because that is so far beyond her responsibilities and what she needs to be focusing on right now. So at face value, it's just funny for me that like 
Britney Spears is this huge pop star. Like, my two worlds colliding is like tweeting out, like, Jeffree Star, you are a genius. It's just so shocking to me. And it's not that, oh my god, I'm so pissed she called Jeffree a genius. No, I'm like, this is just so, like, <laughs> wow. So, she got a lot of criticism, obviously. And people were, like, in the comments. And I'll just read out, like, one. Someone said, Okay, girl, a lot has happened since you've been locked up, so we're gonna have to talk about Jeffrey, but we love you! <laughs> and I feel like that was kind of the overall response to this, where everyone was like, Girl, we love you, and um, we are gonna have a conversation about Jeffrey. But what enough people aren't talking about in this is that Jeffrey was so quick on this. Jeffrey knew if he was literally, that PR package was waiting once that conservatorship ended and her address was open to the public, he knew the second he would get in there. I'm sure, we haven't seen a picture of it, I'm sure Britney got every single product. I'm sure she got every single product, every single makeup thing, every single brush, every single, back to Kat Von D, I'm sure she got all those collabs with Jeffrey too, the Manny MUA, I'm sure she got everything, right? And she deserves it. For free as well? Girl, scam the system. I love it. Yeah. Jeffrey did this because he was probably going to get a post out of Britney for it. And at a bare minimum, he would sway Britney's opinion, at least, to be like, oh, this, this businessman is really nice. This businessman, oh, I just viewed his house. Oh, wait, he's, he was really nice to me. Like, at a bare minimum, anyone would kind of act like that. You know, it's a really nice thing whenever you get a PR package because you're getting it for free. Sometimes you haven't even asked for it, and it's just a um, great thing. You know, it's a very exclusive thing, especially for Jeffree Star Cosmetics, because, I don't know if you're aware, Jeffree Star Cosmetics in recent years has not really done PR packages because no one likes Jeffree. At least within the creator space, right? So, Britney getting this, of course a tactical, genius PR move. It's sad that he was definitely using... Britney here and furthermore there is a clip that I'm gonna show you right now that has literally just popped into my head literally just popped into my head it is Jeffree Star and Perez Hilton talking about Britney Spears so <laughs> if you're like oh Adam stop being so mean back whenever Britney was getting scrutinized by the media which she still 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 does Jeffree was one of the leading people because he was really big on MySpace that was basically bullying Britney, making fun of her, calling her mentally ill, saying to lock her up and stuff like this. So, this is what Jeffrey was. So, aside from it being funny, a lot of people are also like, Britney, you know, there were a lot of people trying to actively take you down, trying to actively belittle you in that moment, and there was a lot that weren't. So, we want to help you navigate, because it's not easy for you to, like, know all this, who was good and who was bad to you. So it's very sad that Jeffrey will so quickly jump ship, but let me show you this video. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm Perez. Who are you? Jeffrey Star Who? <laughs> we are from Perez. These are like two we Sims. We are the Britney Spears art exhibition, and uh, Jeffrey's gonna shave some of his... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it for you. There we go. We have Jeffrey on the record back in 2007 making fun of Britney Spears whenever everyone was. And he used his platform to also do that with Press Hilton. What a man 
who is willing to change his opinion based on the public narrative. And we get called out for that. But never Jeffrey. Heaven forbid we do, but Jeffrey will actively do it. All right, this overall thing to me is so lighthearted and so funny. However, it's really sad that like Jeffrey was just waiting for this moment and is obviously trying to get her to buy the house and stuff like that. And it's like, there are so many tweets from Jeffrey, so many videos of Jeffrey, literally making fun of Britney for being mentally insane whenever it was just a woman being pushed to her limit by the media. And I'm so glad we're having that conversation now. So do with that information what you will, my lovelies. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. I really, really, really do. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's talk about it below.